Well, then go ahead and tell us how the rest of the season plays out, would you? I told you earlier, <laughs> kittens from outer space took the power. Right? <laughs> you guys know by now, like, the, the reveal about the power. How shocking was, was that information once you got it for you? Well, I wouldn't say shocking, and, and they sort of set it up so that uh, so that when we do find out what actually uh, transpired, that um, that you're more interested in other stuff by then. You know, um, if it were just going to be a show about the power going away, then it wouldn't have been very interesting. To me. Really, what the show is is once you do take that that power away um, and that way of life away. Um, the show just becomes about don't die and take care of and fight for what you love. And that's really what the show's about. So the, the power is sort of secondary to that. So the real draw to the show was the awesome sword fighting, right? Um, I didn't really, you know, to begin with, I was, you know, I wasn't hired for this role. I was hired to play bass to begin with. Huh. Um, and then I got a call after we'd already shot a, a, a bass scene. Um, I got a call from Kripke saying, uh, I think you'll find this good news. He literally said that just that. Um, <laughs> uh, he goes, uh, you know, we'd love if you played Miles. And I'm like, uh, yeah, I'm down with that. Um, and uh, a day later, we were shooting that, so that first sword fight scene for the, for the pilot. So um, I had no idea I'd be doing that much sword fight. <laughs> and neither did they. <laughs> so in the panel, you mentioned that um, we're going to meet your first love. You already have these two women. So can you talk about Miles' love life? Everybody will be kissed by Miles in the future. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said he, he shows his soft, gooey guts. Uh, you, that's what starts to happen as uh, as Monroe starts to uh, go sort of sink further and further into the abyss, and Charlie starts to go the way that she's going. She's basically taking on all the characteristics um, uh, of Miles that he would never want to see in her, especially, and, you know, let alone anybody else. So as she starts to go that way, he starts to uh, reveal some things about himself that he would never have uh, have even admitted to having. Um, and, he's, you know, he starts to keep, realize that there is more to care about than himself, which is really what, I mean, he's just a selfish bastard. Um, but he starts to realize that uh, the the, these people, these annoying fucking people that he's been hanging around with for so long, he actually does start to care. So we'll start to see that more. So he has Nora and Rachel? I'm sorry. What's that? Just he has Nora and Rachel. Well, I mean, it gets dicey, you know? Um, people have, you know, people have emotions and things that happen along, the, uh, along this dusty path that we're on. Like I said in the panel, people got to make babies in the future. So um, <laughs> he's just, you know, he's just really following his instinct and trying to not, and and now at this point trying not to uh, destroy more than he builds. How is um, the the high concept of the show kind of affected the way you think about your dependence on electronics? And, and has, has it altered it at all? Has it yeah, we think. I mean, we we think about it a lot. We talk about it. We did um, in the initial stages in the first few months of making the show. We did. We talked about it. Um, and the reality is you, you never really know what you would do um, but you start to realize uh, how much you do rely on it and uh, it's yeah it, it kind of gives one pause in the, in the it's a bit disgusting what we've you know what we've now in 2013 become we are so reliant on, on power and technology for everything um, it does make you think about okay if that was all gone what do I really care about is there a technology that's like prior from my cold dead hands that you feel about? <laughs> like, is there something that you just like? I don't know how I could get that. Yeah, my answer to that is uh, I is recorded music. I just don't. I, that's the the one thing that I would miss the most. I could do without a television or, or a telephone. I, I think you know, as long as I was I surrounded myself with the people that I cared about, I think I'd, you know uh, the communication thing would be all right with me. But uh, but yeah, recorded music is. You know, that would suck. Can you talk about the evolution of uh, Miles and Charlie's relationship from where it started at the beginning in the pilot to where it's, I guess, going? Yeah. Well, Miles doesn't have any kids of his own. Um, so when this... Um, so yeah, when this uh, when this little brat comes along and, and you know snivels her way into his life, he you know he wants no part of it. Now he's uh, 
he's sort of, you know, he's looking over his shoulder every moment for where she is. Does he want to be doing that? No, he doesn't. But he can't help it now. Um, and and then there's, you know, he starts to almost enjoy um, seeing her evolve and become uh, become this little warrior. But as that starts to grow and build and she starts to get deeper and deeper into that, she starts to become all those things that he would have never wanted her to be, all the things about himself that, uh, that he would just as soon deny. So, um, yeah, it gets, it, gets real, it gets real dicey and interesting. Yeah. Did the producers arm you ahead of time with any information that they're like, well, this isn't going to be revealed until later, but you need to know this for your performance? No, one thing. <laughs> no, and as a matter of fact, uh, and we all deal with it. Uh, we'll get scripts, and and something, you know, something will be said, or something, some action will take place, and we'll, and we'll be like, what, what, why? And we'll be on the phone with Grippy, going like, you know. And for me, a lot of it was like, how is this going to be redeemable? Like, I mean, and uh, you know, he'll say a couple things, and I'll go, all right. And we just kind of go on blind faith. Yeah. If there isn't a second season, we're hoping there will be. Yeah. Are enough questions answered that fans are going to be cats? By the end of this season? Yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, it. Uh, it uh, where we get to by the end of this season uh, is is great, but it opens up a, a completely different can of worms. So. Um, yeah, we're, we're hoping there's a, ne a next one too.